Okay, good afternoon, everyone. From a metro point of view, if uh, we don't have the regulator, if we don't have our industry partners and ourselves actually aligned, we're never going to get to where we need to be. From a client point of view, I just want to start with a really, really simple question, a five-year-old question, but it's like, why, why are we actually doing this? And, uh, you know, certainly for me, um, it's really, really important. I think we have a moral obligation to basically to drive that across our customers, our community and our workforce. And, uh, you know, what I will say is that we talk about a tsunami of work that's uh, coming to Australia, New South Wales, $70 billion worth of infrastructure work. Melbourne's doing the same. Brisbane's kicking off. New Zealand's there. And for me, is that if we don't have a real focus on our people, we're never going to deliver this from our workforce. So, again, you know, we want to we want to recruit people into our industry. We want to retain people into our industry and keep them here as long as we possibly can. So if we're not going to look after them, what are we actually bothering for? The second one is about economic considerations. Now, uh, 2.9 billion, that is the cost each year for uh, poor health uh, within our industry. And I reckon that's just the tip of the iceberg. I would say it's a lot more than that when you consider the total cost of uh, you know, health and safety to, to the actual uh, bottom line of Australia is in the region of 60 billion. I think there's a lot more than that. So again, if you're looking at it from a, a people point of view, you're looking at it from a, an economic point of view, there's a real clear argument I don't really want to go down to the uh, regulatory compliance. For me, that is just a given. It doesn't matter whether you're tier one, tier two, or wherever you want, want to work. That is, ba that is the lowest bar possible as to actually how we do work uh, in New South Wales. But I suppose the big one for me is around legacy. Is a case if, if, if we always do what we've always done, we're always going to get what we've always got. So unless we actually change how we work, how we move forward, and, and certainly from a Sydney Metro point of view, $20 billion worth of infrastructure, we have got to be doing something different to actually drive that outcome. And I think, you know, uh, quite legitimately, the taxpayer, the people of New South Wales actually demand that. And that's why we want to do something different in this space. But again, it's certainly a question that we always ask. From a client point of view, I think, you know, the first question you've got to ask is, what type of client do you want to be? You know, if you just want to be Basically, it's good enough. I want to walk away and basically uh, do it, do it, no, least, least in their maximum outcome. You know, that's not what we certainly see ourselves at Sydney Metro. Certainly, our tagline is about striving, is about exceeding and actually driving a different benchmark. It is about that legacy that we, that we talk about. But again, from a client point of view, you know, our first pillar of success is around safety. That is our number one priority. If it isn't safe, we don't do it. But again, it is around how we actually deliver. So again, we've got about successful delivery. Yes, it is about, you know, we've got $20 billion worth. We have to have a focus on the programme. We have to have a focus on the commercials and actually the quality. But rather than health and safety just being some kind of bolt-on, it's actually integrated into everything we do. We want a successful um, world-class metro. And again, that is about bringing the highest standards, whether it's from New South Wales, across Australia, or internationally, what is the standards that we need to be working to to, get to, to set that new standard. And then a trans transformative legacy. This is something that's built into our DNA. It is about driving different outcomes to what we expect. But for me, and why we're here today, really, is that bottom line. It's around our ways of working. So, again, customer-centric, really, really important. So whether you are workforce, customer, community, everyone is at the centre of what we do. It is about values-led. If we don't have that safety and well-being as a real value, we're never going to get to where we need to go. So, again, all of our decisions, what we do, is based around that key, that key uh, value. Um, one team philosophy. Again, if we don't work together as an industry regulator, client and industry partner, we're never going to get to where we need to go. So events like this is really, really important. And then the last thing is relationship matters. Again, you can have all of the best standards, you can have all the best contracts, but it is about relationships. And for me, it's about understanding, you know, as a client, I'll be the first one and I will say, if we're not doing something right, what's adding value, you come at me as hard as you want, because by, by having that you know, honest conversation, we can change things, not make things easier or simpler, but we can change things to make sure those obstacles are removed and we can actually drive it again, that different outcome. So again, that invitation, if you're working for Metro, you come and order us as you need to, because we want to make a change. And by doing that, we will drive, we will drive a different uh, outcome for the people and for those projects. One thing that we did do early on from a, from a client point of view is that we set a strategy. And what I will say is that, um, you know, it's very, very uh, built on the, on the kind of pillars that you'd expect to see in any kind of corporate strategy. 
or you know the first thing on there and it's 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 no mistake is around is around leadership because without the leadership of the organization that you represent the project that you that you sit on industry nothing will happen so um you know if you go back to your organizations wherever you are like you say well i would encourage that everyone get engaged you know make sure you know health and hygiene as with metro is at the highest level it is something that we drive consistently through our organization and it gets that profile but you know i'll go back to my first question about the why so you know i've explained the social economic regulatory legacy type of outcomes what we deal but that's just one lens if you look at like our approach to chain of responsibility in heavy vehicles whether you look at skills development it's all around those three you know bottom line outcomes and again you know, I say to my team, look at it all the time, and you know, I'd encourage everyone to look at it because when you do that, you get some really great outcomes. And again, this selling of this occupational health hygiene or the safety message, it is really easy once you've got that commercial outcome. And like you say, you're removing the obstacles because it makes good business sense. Some of the initiatives that we've looked at, um, I talk about collaboration and relationships. It is about those um, relationships with safe work, and there's probably a couple of things I want to call out. The first one is the work we're doing with RMIT. So, you know, what, you know, what we're doing today is what we're doing today, but that piece of work will look at how we actually embed higher order controls into our industry, and that is for the next five to ten years. So rather than just you know, sit back on our laws, we're actually challenging industry, and we're going to, look, going to be looking at how we make it easier, yeah, how we remove those obstacles, but how we get better effective controls in the field where it actually matters. And that's something that's going on. And what I will say is that if anyone wants to be part of that, if anyone wants to have a look at that, you know, you, you, you come back at us. Because again, the more industry buy-in we get, the better the report and the, and the better outcomes again that we drive. So please, please feel free. Some of the challenges, again, for me, is about the appetite to drive those social, economic, regulatory, and legacy outcomes. How do we communicate and drive this? So how do we actually make sure you know every man and woman is actually engaged, every organisation is actually engaged, and actually understands the value of what we're trying to do? Um, Competing interests again. Production is a big one, but again, I'll go back to me, rule number one: is that if you're not if you're not a values-led organisation with people at the heart of everything you do. You're never going to get there. So again, you know, you've got to focus on what is important to you as an organisation and as a client, and actually drive that and go as hard as you can to make that happen. And then, I, I suppose for me, uh, resourcing is a big one. It can be complicated, and that's why we have people on board to actually undo the complications and all the rest of it and make it easy for us. And, th and that's one of the things I think that we've that we've tried to do really hard. So we've tried to develop the systems where anyone can actually pick up and do those health risk assessments, whether it's a level one or level two, but actually you can actually take them take them away and actually embed them within your own parent organisation. And that's where the value comes from it. And like I say, you've got some support that you can use from a client as such as ourselves. So we want to set you up to succeed. So again, really important to us. And then the last thing for me is really about the opportunities. Um, applying a consistent approach, create a level playing field. You know, this industry is really good at doing things three, four, five, six, seven times and all coming up with a different answer. What I would really like to achieve is that we'd actually do it once, do it really well, and industry can actually take it away and use it. How great would that be? And again, because like I say, you know, as a client, I don't want to spend money. I want to make sure it's, it's spent in the right places. But like I say we get maximum value from that. So again, that's, that is a big challenge for us all. Um, raise the awareness, really, really important of those risks. And again, like I say, rather than just uh, kicking that 2.8 billion down the road every every year, and like I say, like, you know, injuring our men and women who come to work on the on the projects and the programmes, we actually deal with the issue now. That will only go one way when you look at the amount of infrastructure and some of the legacy issues that we've got to do. Again, reduce the incidents. For me, I'm just going to finish off with just one thing. It's about it is about it just makes good business sense. From a metro point of view, if there's anything we can do, if there's anything we can help with, if, if, if you've got any goal that you can give us, let us know, because that is the kind of stuff where, again, it will feed into this working group, it will make a difference, and then all of us will benefit from. Thank you.